Hey, what is up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? It is I, Ichi Badass, bringing you a quick tutorial video on how to make your own little chibi foxy statue in survival or even creative. Now, to note, some of the blocks that you're going to need for this build is black wool, regular white wool, a single yellow block, or a redstone lamp, whatever your personal preference is for his one eye on the left hand side, stone or cobblestone or even light gray if you prefer that to the texture of your stone block. Brown wool, light gray wool, and a ton of red wool will be used to complete this little plushy foxy chibi statue. Now the base of this is going to be the pants which is seven blocks deep, four blocks wide, and for the most part only two blocks tall with the exception of where the raised leg is that you currently see here and what you're gonna do is you're gonna place your brown wool in a 2x4 design you can actually bring it out a full 2x4 if you so desire but keep in mind there is going to be a two block deep gap under either leg that you want to have raised up to make it look properly it's also worth noting that if you're on survival, then this portion here requires actually only six blocks of dark or black, well, black wool, because the center portion here can actually be left hollow to reduce the amount of resources required for completing this. The light gray wool is used for his mechanical portion of his legs because it is all metal in actually Five Nights at Freddy's 1 and just about every single Five Nights at Freddy's game that has came out that has Foxy in it. Unless you count the plushie in the closet, then it wouldn't be mechanical and it would just be all cutesy and plushy. Now, after you completed the base, like I said, you can have the raised leg on either the left or, you know, the right hand side. You're going to want to build his torso. And the torso is eight blocks wide by five blocks tall. And the base of it is going to be black red all the way up which what we have right here is 14 blocks of red for his torso with two and the other portion of his neck his right arm that has the trademark our pirate hook on it is going to be three black and three red wool with five blocks of stone or cobblestone or light wool if you prefer. I went with stone for this because this is a part of my Five Nights at Freddy's 4 mega build on PC version of Minecraft and if I went with light wool it would not be a contrast to the wallpaper that we have here so that's why I went with stone for this build but personally I would prefer light wool if I was building it in a survival world somewhere you know apart from wallpaper borders like this. Completing his other arm only requires seven red wool and three black wool, and that will complete the torso of Foxy himself. Now, the maximum height of this is currently 16 blocks, seven blocks deep, and 10 blocks wide. And the only reason why it's 10 blocks wide is because the added little whiskers and the points of said Foxy's ears. And for this, you're gonna need a lot of red wool to complete it, and also, it's worth noting that his jaw comes out three blocks from his body. Now, most Avatar skin heads come out only two blocks, but Foxy is special. We wanted him to have a noticeably larger snout to emphasize you know, his mouth, because Foxy is known for his mouth because he's typically the number one considered cause of the bite of 87. Which may or may not be true, that is portrayed in Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Now, bringing out the red blocks, as you can see here that I've done with the wool, you can see that, oops, not mean to do that. My bad, apologies. You can see that it comes out full three blocks. So this is going to come out four, including the top of his torso here. And once you bring it out, which is going to take, let's see, we have 10, um, well that would be 5, 9, that's 13, so 26 red wool blocks will be used for the base here, followed by only 4 teeth. The back of his mouth is filled in with black, and we will put red wool on top of 
each and every single one of his teeth that you see here, including four red wool to the sides of his face with a single red wool block in the center of this one by three area. So we'll put another red wool on the opposite side and with the red wool on top of every single one of the teeth, we are then gonna place a piece of two black wool for the front, which will be his nose. As you can see right here, mimicking the other one. Continuing from here, you're gonna put one red wool in each of the corners to the left and right of his snout, completing this nice little triangle pointy thing for his face. And put a bridge above his nose of only a one by two placement of red wool for this part here. And you're gonna remove some of the red wool to the left and to the right of his face. So it'll look like so. And the reason for this is it's gonna come in to add more depth to his face by creating this Tetris zigzaggy shape. And I'm gonna put in his right eye which is represented by a black eye patch right here with one red wool placed here. And traditionally, if you look at the secret Five Nights at Freddy's 2 screenshot of Foxy, his eye patch actually would go straight across like this. But due to there being no depth right here for shading, it would look awkward. So I prefer to just bring the eye patch across, as you can see over here connecting to his left eye, which is only three white wool followed up by the yellow wool. And I'm gonna show you the difference between the redstone lamp and the yellow wool. Redstone lamp is absolutely awesome for any of the animatronic eyes. I highly recommend it for your build. You can also rig it up so that it actually flashes if you so choose, which turns out to be really really awesome. Now you're going to place red wool, two blocks of red wool above each eye, the eye patch and his regular eye, with the additional of two red blocks of wool on top of the black wool in the center, for a total of four going to the back portion of his head, including one wool on each side of this 2x4 that we just placed to the center of his face. Now at this point right here is towards the end of the build. You can look at the original version and this version. On the right hand side where his red lamp, redstone lamp eye or yellow wool eye is, you're going to bring in two pieces of red wool straight up and we're going to make his mechanical ear, which I use stone. You can use whatever material you want, whether you prefer the you know, light gray wool or if you prefer you know, the stone if you need a little bit of contrast, or you can use cobblestone. And for this, it only requires five blocks of stone or cobblestone to create his ear with a single piece of black wool in the center of it. And his opposite ear is the same thing, except it's five blocks of red wool and a black piece of wool in the center. And there you have it. You have completed, congratulations, your own foxy plush avatar statue and i want to thank you really quick for watching this video i really do appreciate it i hope that you like this i hope that you know you enjoy this little recreation of foxy in your own minecraft world because guess what you deserve it and consider checking out some of my other youtube videos on my channel because there's some awesome things in this five nights at freddy's for mega build you gotta wait you gotta wait for released videos on that tours. You can find more of it in my channel. And I'm gonna tease you with one additional thing since we've completed this little Foxy plushie. Other than this right here, which is a full-size Nightmare Foxy that is part of this Five Nights at Freddy's 4 Mega Build. But there's also Fredlings, which will be my next tutorial video showing you how to make the Nightmare Fredlings statues in your world next and I'll consider if you guys are interested you can tell me let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions or if you guys would like to see other mini nightmare variants of the animatronics on a smaller plushy size for your survival world creative world etc anyways guys 
please stay awesome, please take care of yourselves, and consider becoming a subscriber if you like this content. I'm also a live streamer on Twitch TV at Badass, and I hope you guys stay awesome. Alright guys, please take care. Bye! Bye! Yes, listen to those clicks as I wave my hand.